Soho, New York, one of the many vibrant dining areas in this great city. I'm here at Cascata for a truly luxury experience. Let's go in. Costata is Italian for ribeye, and this place specializes in amazing steaks. They also, of course, have seafood and some amazing pasta. I'm here in the kitchen with Chef PJ, only 33 years old, but he's already worked in some of the best restaurants in the city, if not the world. PJ, what are we gonna try today? We're making a nocchetti. Fabulous. Eggless pasta that we season with a little jumbo lump crab meat, emulsify sea urchin and olive oil. This condiment that we buy from Calabria called Bomba Calabrese. Let's go. We'll start with a little olive oil in the pan. Drop the pasta in our very salted boiling water. How long for? Till it floats, so it's about two and a half, three minutes. Did you invent this dish? I did. It's a play on a very classic Italian dish. Okay. Just a different sort of seasoning that we do. So we've got the pasta on the boil. We're gonna sweat some shallots and garlic. This is the secret this element. This is the bomba calabrese. What's in it? Chilies, eggplant, mushrooms, onions, garlic. So that adds uh, that kick. Exactly, but it also gives it a really nice earthiness. Beautiful. So we'll sweat that all together. We'll deglaze a little white wine, add some acidity. You could have it as a starter or you could even have it as a mid-course. So it's a well-balanced meal for someone right. like me or you. Exactly. Do you know my famous phrase, Fat. never trust a thin chef? That's right. So right now with garlic and shallots, the bomba calabrese, a little white wine, and now a little lobster stock. We'll reduce that down. That'll be the base of the dish. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. So all the seafood's in last. Seafood is really just to be warmed. Gorgeous. We're gonna let that pasta cook in that stock. Nocchetti. Exactly. Nocchetti being smaller gnocchi without the potato. Then we just emulsify sea urchin and olive oil. A little jumbo lump crab meat, a little butter, never hurt. Most chefs like a little butter, don't Just they? Just a little. And then we'll finish it with parsley and a touch of salt. Let it come together. You want to use the natural starch from the pasta to thicken the sauce. It gets a little tight, we can add a little stock. Let me just check this. Mmm, very decadent. Right over the top with the crab and the sea urchin. A little bit of lemon juice to give it a nice acidity. Balance it out. And now we're ready to plate it up. Perfect. Mmm. And what, you sprinkle the breadcrumb? Yeah, just to finish. It has a really nice texture. Gorgeous. We toast the breadcrumbs with a little thyme, olive oil, and garlic. Let me just check it for you, yeah, chef. please do. Mmm. It's really good. It's really unusual. Well done. Thank you very much. Oh, it's got a kick. Just there at I the end. I just got it. So should we go feed our guests? I think we should. When one is in an elegant restaurant, you need to have the appropriate guests. With me today, I have Gabriella Isla, the current reigning Miss Universe, and Miss Erin Brady, 2013's Miss USA. Thank you, PJ. My pleasure. This is Amberjack Crudo with pickled cauliflower, Calabrian chilies, and mustard greens. Where's the fish from? Amberjack is from Hawaii. And then the bone marrow panzanella is a warm salad with charred radicchio, caramelized onions, bone marrow, and a little aged balsamic. Thank you, chef. Will you try the fish? I certainly will. This is fantastic. It has a little bit of a spicy kick. This is a hot salad, which I like that. Who knew that a warm salad would be so delicious? How early in life did this dream of Miss Venezuela and then Miss Universe actually come to mind? I was a model, and the director saw me in a fashion show. So you didn't, I... as we say in America, come through the pageant world? No. Erin, did you start in the pageant world? No, actually. I was a financial accountant. Hey, I no one does the pageants. Money. And is it true that in the preceding few days, no one eats? It's not true. Ooh, I don't I know. Know. I know. I saw your food bills because you were in my hotel <laughs> and you had nothing to eat. Oh la la, the speciality of the house, the bone-in ribeye. It looks so good. Oh. It's a 40 ounce bone in ribeye. And this is the pasta that you and I made. It's an amazing dish. He invented it. A little heat, a little lemon I was juice say, to I balance have a little it bit out. Of spice right. to it. Yeah, we use this bomba calabrese. Wow. The crunchy that they have is yeah, good. So we the finish different it with textures. Bread crumbs. He puts a little parmesan last minute. It's good. Just on top. Oh exactly. my gosh, so good. Tell the ladies how long this aged. A minimum of 40 days. This one had about 50 day age with our seasoning that we make here. Beautiful. In the house. We started on a sear plate and then finished in the broil. Mm. It's like butter. Cooked perfectly, right. too. Thank you very much. The flavoring of the, the flavor in the center is so good. Wow. Fabulous, yeah, fabulous job. My pleasure. Wow. My pleasure. 
What are the, some of the things that the coaches ask you to do? I have makeup, hair lessons, runway lessons, oratory, body language. But at the end of the day, they just ask me to be confident. What do you think of this pasta? Unreal. And I always think that the special ingredient is love. You make everything oh. love. <laughs> you should be on TV. Oh. Well, you know, I try. So, Gabriella Isler, Erin Brady, thanks Please. for being Thank my guest. Thank you for guest. having Thank us. You. Thank you. This nice is great. to see you both. Nice to see it's you, a pleasure. too.